the the thing with this uh, virus is that people have to realize that there's going to be hassle there's going to be problems you know people will suffer you know then people have to look into why they are suffering okay you know then that's when people has to, to start looking into what is their lifestyle what are they doing in a human birth right what is their diet you know in china we know what people are eating in in all of that you know and you know what is your mindset what is your mentality towards earth towards divine towards nature you know what is your mentality like if you are here and if you don't have good mentality you don't have the right approach evolutionary approach for yourself you know if you don't do the right action to evolve yourself then there will be some problem then there will be some pain there will be some thing for you out there you know there will always be a reaction of that kind you know and that can come through many sources you know right now this thing is being made up and people will suffer because of that there are many ways suffering can happen nature is doing things already you know all over the world there are different things which are taking place which are creating problems for beings out here so so th this is always going to happen when your own actions are not right if your own actions are correct like if you have the right diet if you the right action then you will not automatically not fear such things you know and this is not a problem for you this is a problem only when your own actions are not right and then you have all these problems and then you struggle okay so that's an important point people need to understand you know even though this might be orchestrated you know and this is a created problem <laughs> you know like you can call this a created problem and the na nature nature's problem is natural yeah. like nature's disasters you know so so both thing can be done to beings out there but the solution for everything is taking responsibility for oneself doing doing the right action oneself having the right diet right mentality right actions that's the solution and in the vedic that's what it was all about always yeah. and this plane you know people consider this is a plane of uh, like where disease death is called mrityu lok in vedic so these things happen you know so people had to find a way out of this plane which is called breaking out of the matrix now yeah. in english what we call breaking out of the matrix uh, so it was called breaking out of cycle of birth and death in vedic you know so that concept people have to understand and these are things which push people to realizing what this plane is about actually from my point of view yeah the same uh, we can compare other people because it's not like most yeah. people think that uh, coronavirus or many diseases what they orchestrate uh, all over yeah. for many yeah. last uh, men like 30 40 years we can yes. we can count many many different uh, viruses but yeah. uh, we can understand that people who live in for example amazon forest some indian people who live there uh, they don't have tv they don't have a radio they they don't know nothing about some kind of diseases in last 20 30 years they just yeah. live normally so we yeah. can see that we we always have an option we always have option mm -hmm. uh, to choose yeah. so it's yeah. it's not our, it is our will to watch this to yeah. to to be scared everything depend on us actually yeah and your own action and your responsibility for yourself you know the same thing like those people don't even have medical services people living out there in the tribal they don't have even medical there's no hospital there's no yeah. pharmacy there's no drugs there's nothing you know so uh, point is not that like uh, obviously to stay away from these things i mean everyone is telling now like anybody who has any sense they tell people to stay away from pharmacy drugs or you know all the vaccines and everything that is obviously you have to stay away from that but for your own self if you are taking care of your body and if your diet and your whole mentality you know uh, uh, then things are different you, yeah. you know like right now china like there's a system which is out there which is very you know different from other countries which is Uh, sort of inhumane and all of those things are there like so like i mean then the suffering happens more you know when you have and you don't say anything against that system and you accept that system you know so it's like not taking personal responsibility if people take personal responsibility i think the whole atmosphere will change anyways or regarding everything you know so yeah. yes that that's yeah. important 
uh, that's important to know. And how would you how would you compare two words? One word it's a scare, fear. The one word is the fear, and another on the another scale, in my opinion, it's knowledge. If yeah. if there is less knowledge, it's a higher fear. If it's bigger yeah. knowledge, okay. it's less. Yeah? Okay. Because again, like this, I told that before as well in my talk that knowledge and information are different things. Okay. So knowledge is something which you can apply practically. Yes. Information you cannot apply. Okay. So knowledge is something which you apply practically. If you apply something practically and you start doing something. Okay. Like if you start doing something, any right thing, action. Okay. Whenever you start doing that, then automatically fear will reduce. Um, 100% agree. Yeah. Yeah. Fear, fear only comes when you don't do the action, right action. Okay. Okay. Like then you obviously the fear takes over, you know, like when you're not doing the right action. Okay. So like knowledge is like, what is the right action? That is knowledge. And then up doing it is the application of knowledge because knowledge is nothing without application of knowledge. So once you apply something, then you start doing it. And then a person who's busy doing something and doing the right thing, then they never, the fear will not be there. <laughs> Automatic. Like, the same the like Jyotish, like astrology. Some people yeah. can read. This is, of course, information for them, but uh, yeah. they they scanning this information by consciousness. But uh, yeah. to use this every day in practical way, yeah. have to be deep in the in the subconscious because then uh, yeah. uh, other people can subconsciously recognize if if yes. this fear or scare or uh, the way how the each each person talk to them. So. The, the nature will rep, uh, recognize this this fear also. Yes. So we know yes. in the between among the animals that if the people uh, have a bigger fear, the animal wants to attack them because they don't understand why they have a, this kind of fear. Yes, that's why in Vedic there was a concept of a word called tapasya, tapasya, which is called now English in English it's called penance. It's a loose translation of the word tapasya. So any being which was doing tapasya, any being which was doing tapasya, they never had any fear. Okay, tapasya was doing the right action. And if they did that, and they never had any fear, okay. Because once you know you're doing the right thing, there's nothing more you can do. Okay, what more can you do yeah. than doing the right thing? Okay, you cannot do anything more than that. Okay, yeah. so from your side, you're doing everything. You're doing the right thing. Then what fear can you have? You know, fear is the result of laziness, not doing the right action, inaction, lack of knowledge or what is the right action that's what creates the fear okay so this tapasya concept is an important very concept which people will learn you know jyotish has become more popular you know yes now. yes definitely. then uh, tapasya concept will also come out in time and people need to understand that and i think that's a solution for all problems on this earth not just this virus i'm saying all problems any being faces on this earth and beyond after life also not just in this life but after also after, so, after. So, the, so the fear uh, yeah. like you said if, if yeah. the people think that we have only one life yes. in this our physical body uh, yeah. that, that could be in in the logical way it could be the, the most stupid thing ever ever because yeah. uh, everybody yeah. born and you have this advantage and other people has got the is very rich another is very poor this is this per person is sick all life for example or, yeah. or sit on the wheelchair uh, i know it's experience yeah but yeah. what is the proportion for, for all this that's why this wheel what we can see yeah of recognition we can't see this wheel but the movement is all the time all the yeah. time some some people they are scared for any any changes actually but yeah. the changes is it's a life. It's it's a it's a wheel of life. It's, it's all the yes. in movement. Yes. yes, reincarnation is also knowledge. Okay, reincarnation it's is knowledge, also knowledge. Yes. knowledge. It's knowledge. Like that, you have to know that there is reincarnation. Okay, and in the West, a lot of this thing was hidden. Now, a lot of people know reincarnation. I mean, it's not such a hidden thing anymore. And uh, more and more people will realize that. You know, and then you have to apply. If there is reincarnation, then again, what to do? If your actions create the future. Your present actions create the future. So yeah. then you have to take care of the present actions. And again, we come down to the same thing. You have to do the right actions in the present. Yes. Okay. I had a, lastly, I had a guy who, uh, 
who wants to a bit, uh, I don't know how to call this, but he wants to kill himself. And he give me the, uh, that everything depends on me now, uh, what to tell him. But I, I was very surprised because what, what can I say? I said only to him, this is my opinion, that if you will kill yourself, uh, that's, that's you have to remember that uh, it's not penalty that you have to reborn and do the same. But uh, in, my, in my opinion, it's a stupid thing because anyway you need to come back and your soul wants to experience the situation again twice. Yeah? So you're losing, you're losing yeah, time, I, you're losing. Yeah, point is that if you do something, you, you, it's not a game where you press delete or escape. <laughs> Even if you press escape, <laughs> you, you know, <laughs> if the game is not going well, <laughs> so, <That's good. laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so it's like a computer game people think it's like you know you press escape and you know and and you come out or out of that like a point is what happens is then you are again in the worst position in the game and then you have to again deal with the whole situation you cannot not deal with the situation like today or tomorrow like so the point is best to do it deal with it right now when the opportunity is there to deal with it right now, you know, and uh, like in the Vedic, the, obviously, when you understand reincarnation, you will understand why suicide is useless. You know, you once you understand reincarnation, you understand that too. You know? I, I can tell you that be, it would, yeah. it helped me a lot to understand. I mean, to yeah. to, to lose to lose any fear uh, that yeah. if I know I know the life is gonna be finished soon. Uh, yeah. It maybe ten, maybe twenty, maybe tomorrow. We don't know yet. We don't yeah. know this, yeah. but I'm totally don't care about this <laughs> because yeah. sometimes I have a feeling that I come here. It's not. It's not easy. It's not easy. I can't get what I want hundred percent. But yeah. uh, the conscious, my consciousness, uh, give me the the freedom that that doesn't matter what happened. Uh, it's just it's yeah. just wheel of fortune. Yeah. So. Yeah, all, yeah, all and, and obviously your the point is to take your consciousness into higher states. Yeah. That's the point of life, you know, to increase one's consciousness and take it to a higher state. Okay, that is the point of existence and life here in the first place. So as long as you're doing that, you will be more pleased. You'll be happy. You'll be, you know, like yeah. satisfied. So, you know, you will be satisfied in the present, in the moment, and then you don't need to worry about like anything and fear and worry disappears but only when you do that you know if you don't do that you know how normal people most people live on this earth right now it's not like that okay most people live in a way which is not good for themselves it's not good for the revolution okay majority mm -hmm. so then uh, problems happen fear happens all kinds of things happen mm -hmm. and you know this uh, virus is just a, like a opportunity for us to talk about this you know like just because people are more receptive right now right now they listen more right when that is not happening, then no one listens. But when this kind of thing happens, people start listening <laughs> more, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, they start to listen because they feel inside yeah. that this, yeah. this puzzle, they can connect together. This is important. Yeah. In, yes, this, yes. in this era, if, if, you, <clears throat> if the people will read the book, it's somebody had the dream and he wrote the book, what he had in the dream, then uh, of course it's uh, nice to read. Uh, you can try again, yeah. But uh, yeah. you can't use it in, <laughs> you can't in, use in it. practical. Your in the practical way, yes. Your, so, in your physical, earthly. Yes. So life. I didn't, I didn't know why. What? Uh, why? In I couldn't read any book that somebody figured out in he in the head. So I like the books only that I can I could use the knowledge in a practical way. But maybe yeah. this is connected with the astrology because. If I would, maybe you would have more Pisces influence, uh, what they like to be use big imagination. I mean, finally, all signs are practical. Okay, all of nakshatras are practical. All nakshatras have to be applied practically. All signs are practical. Everything is actually practical. Yes. You know, there's nothing in a Jyotish even which is in not practical. Okay, but it's a question of a person's approach. One can apply it practically or one cannot. It's up to the person. Mm -hmm. You know, it, uh, practicality and practicality comes from you not from the knowledge, not from the stars, not from the signs, not from the nakshatras. You know, it is your decision. It's a decision, actually. So decision. you have to make the right decision. And this kind of thing, what is happening right now, this virus and stuff, like will make, force people to make decisions, you know, and that's a good thing. It's not a bad thing that people realize something or yeah. go towards knowledge and 
find out what they have to do actually to not to be in that situation you know because there are a lot of people who are suffering in that situation right now and if you don't want to be in that situation yourself mm. if you don't want to be in that situation then you have to change something you have to bring some change in yourself mm. so yes do, 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 did you do you can you see a plus, can you see connection with the rahu influence uh, in this year or on the other planet <clears throat> or can i mean uh, i would not like to go into jyotish right now as well because 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 of that a lot of things happen not just this virus there'll be more like warring sort of situation more other kind of things there are a lot of things with uh-huh. grahas influence but our point is what you have to do not what the grahas have to do let grahas do their job yeah and you do yours you know yeah. <laughs> that's my uh, that thing to do like let them do their job and we should do our job okay that is that thing so uh, like but right now people should not go into that people should just understand what they have to do this situation is there now how do they mm-hmm. do with their own life you know 